Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate how you can give yourself a perfect wave and with a lot of curl and flowing with little effort, no heat, no curling iron and no water. So let's go. What would you need to create lots of body and different wave going in different directions? You will need some leave-in conditioner, the leave-in conditioner of your preference, okay? You will need some dry shampoo and a dry shampoo of your preference. I do have two in here. And that would bring some volume. You want to use the sh dry shampoo only on the root to create a lot more volume. Now, if your hair is very straight, you would want it to set your hair maybe two or three hours before and just set your hair the way I will demonstrate and then just go on and do cleaning your house, do your garden or do whatever you want. You're not going to need too many tools. You will need a rubber band, some very soft, something that is soft that is not going to damage your hair or crunchy. Some clippies, the clippies of your choice. You can utilize a small clippies like this or you can utilize this one. Whatever you feel comfortable when you set your hair and you clip your hair, that's what you want to use. You want to utilize things that are easy for you. You look the technique, then you can recreate the technique, but with the tools that are comfortable for you to use. So what you will need to do, you will need to put your hair all the way up like I did, okay? And then put loop like this, take the loop, take a piece of hair, put one finger, turn around, and just put a clippy. And do this again and put a clippy. This is very easy because it doesn't require too much things. This is great if you have to clean your house. This is great if you have so today I am going to demonstrate how I give myself so much curl and so much volume. But it seems like we all want something we don't have. And to me, all hair type is beautiful within its textures. But it's up to you to learn how to amplify modify or diminish the volume or decrease the volume with product. There are a lot of product out there that will amplify the volume. If your hair is very fine and you it, do, it is very fine and also uh, straight, you want to utilize all the line that amplify volume. You want to utilize a voluminized shampoo, voluminized conditioner, and voluminized serums, even a voluminized leave-in conditioner. Everything we have to say voluminized. And the same thing, if your hair has too much volume, you want a smoothing. But today, it seems like everybody wants this vavavoom, all these curls, all this uh, uh, wave going everywhere, and we want it all. And we write, we should have it all. Because not only that we have all the tools that is accessible to us, we are have now all the knowledge on the internet. But today, I'm here to demonstrate 
that you can have a volume by just utilize a different technique that I will show you with no heat. That means no curing iron, no waters, no Velcro waters, no socks, no nothing. The only thing you're going to need is this scrunchie, a scrunchie that is soft, that is not going to damage your hair, and some clippies. Now, you can have some clippies that you're most comfortable to work with. If you like them longer, you can get them long and that's okay. The objective of that is not really how the clip you are going to be put on, but how we are going to put our, well, not the borders, but the hair, set the hair in a certain way so you will get a lots and lots of volume and curl with no heat whatsoever. So let me show you. The first things you want to brush your hair with a very good, this is a very good bamboo brush. So you want to brush your hair nicely so there is no tangle whatsoever. Very smooth, no tangle. So when your hair is nice and smooth, then you're going to try, we're going to, well, not try, but you're going to put your hair all the way up. And when you're done, your hair should be set right here. Why? Because the higher your hair sits, the more volume. But remember when you go to your professional stylist and she said, if you want a lot of volume, blow dry your hair upside down where well, this is the case in here if you want a lot of volume you're going to have to put your hair upside down that means that you're going to put your hair upside down the same way i'm doing right now brush those cuticle down brush it and brush them down Make sure all the hair is nicely brushed. And all the way up. And then make sure you have all the hair. And then take your scrunchie and make a very high ponytail. It's okay if you have some bangs and again the, the bangs get cut with it. Just do this. Take one finger, the clippy, and just clip it, just like that. Now, if your hair is very straight, you will want to do this when your hair is, is damp, but not soaking it, but damp. So when your hair is damp, utilize some leave-in conditioner. Now this leave-in conditioner is a very good, this, this is Priology 21 and this is a leave-in conditioner. So instead to put a gel, I recommend highly to utilize a leave-in conditioner because not only the leave-in conditioner is going to protect the cuticle of your hair, even though that you're not using a coronary, you are bending your hair. So anytime that you bend your hair, 
you are breaking down the cuticle of the hair. So by utilizing a leave-in conditioner, you are going to protect your hair from no, from no breakage and it's going to bring back the moisture. So you want to put some moisture to your hair and just, just moist the hair. And then you're going, depending how thick is your hair, you may, you may need to divide your hair in two. So you're going to have a section in the back. And maybe put a, a clippy to, to keep the the hair stay on the back. And then wet the hair so you get a nice <coughs> now this is the technique the technique is you know when you have a velcro roller especially the big one this is the one that gives you the volume okay but a velcro roller is not very it, it's not always good to do this every day because it does damage the hair although the velcro roller is better then a curling iron because it doesn't go up to 200 uh, degree it does at the period if you use this every day or even once a week and especially if you have long hair if you use it because it has this uh, little nylon this is not good for your hair, not at the daily routine. Now you could put it on the bangs and maybe on the side a little bit, but setting your whole head once a week, that would be damaging your hair and give your hair very static over the period. So you want to try to find ways to modify and give you what you want which is the volume that you want without damaging your hair and especially without breaking this hydrogen bomb that these give you the formation of the curl so that's what we want to preserve so we wanted to today just to put some leave-in conditioner that is going to condition your hair and you're going to divide this into sections now the more section you have the more curl you're going to get that's the same thing as the water but you will use instead to use the velcro you're going to be using your finger so this is a velcro and this is your finger if you put your finger like this this is the formation of the velcro you see that that is the exact formation of the velcro so if you use if you learn to use your hand, see, so you have the same diameter as the Velcro water, but you don't have this nylon that strip your hair and it's going to make your hair freezy or even electric. So I don't say to never use, I say to just, just learn all the way all the ways to keep your hair as long as possible and as shiny so she keep these hydrogen bound strong and healthy so the technique that we have today and i'm showing you is you have two finger 
that we be a small, well, that would be one finger will be a very small, very small roller. Two finger would be a little bit big. Three finger would be a medium and four finger would be the large one. So you're going to take your finger and put four finger in here. And you want to put this, this right here. You see like that? And you're going to wrap it around your hand. Then you're going to sit your hair just like that. And you're going to put the clippy to make sure it sit. Now you can put the big clippy. Sometimes the big clippy are better because they go to the whole side from one side and they keep that nice, nice uh, curl, nice and set. But if these are better for you and easy for you to use, it's fine. Just make sure that when you take the curl, you have that curl all around these four finger and you got that, you see you have that big, big loop. Then you're going to take another section Make sure it's smooth. Use your forefinger, wrap around your forefinger. Make sure you have the end. And with that thumb, hold the end, okay? With the thumb. Then, Whatever space you have to put, the objective is not to make this curl, uh, you know, perfect, but it's to make the curl nice as you will set onto a water. That's the objective of that. Okay? So you're going to take another one. Again. You can't uh, divide as you want. You can't all the way to the forefinger, all the way. Lock it with your with your tongue, and then this you will set it on top. So you said it, you see, you are sitting on top. You're well getting the volume. Right now, you're creating a volume. Then, wet it again. Just use again the leave and conditioner. Divide the hair. Make sure the hair is nice and smooth. Take the hair, your finger right here, four finger, four finger, and you're going to lock it with that thumb. And you're going to take the clippy and clip it. You're going to have take another one. Wet it. Smooth it. Again, four finger, wrap it, lock with that finger, take another large clippy, and clip it. Smooth. 
smooth it again. Make sure the hair is nice and smooth. Four finger. Like the like the end. And set it to secure. Now, this is what you have. If some piece of hair go off, you can just always have a lot of clippy at hand. So it stays, it kind of stays just like that. Then for the bang, is short you will need to take two finger and just take a small one like that now this gives you the formation of the curl with no heat. That's what you have. That's what we just have created. You have created the formation of this curl with your finger, with your forefinger. You see that? This is exactly the same diameter when you use your finger like this. You create it. If you learn to use your hands to create effect on your hair, smooth your hair with the tip of your finger, use your forefinger, it, the more you use your hands, the more you will relax. It's not just good for your hair because you're not using the heat. It's also a very good therapy. This is what I say that my channel, it is a self-therapy because there's so many ways to get better is the first thing is to good care of yourself and learn what you have in your hair to amplify or diminish or even to modulate, to create, to give you the perfect look that you want. So for this, now let's say that you have to go somewhere. Well, this is not a bad style, at the exception of this one. This one, you could take it off. It's done now, it's, it's sitting, it's sitting, yeah. And so if you, you could go do your house cleaning or even even go and take the kids or grandkids to anywhere you want and you are ready to go. So now I can put my ring back because it was very hard to do it. So then you can't do anything. Now you are free to go. You could put a maybe a, a scarf around or just to leave it like that. And you will need to let it sit for about two or three hours. Because remember the hair is damp. We do not want to use a blow dryer. We certainly not going to use the hot head dryer. That is not very good. That's not a tool that I I don't consider that too very, um, very good for your hair because you put your hair under a, a, a very small space and the heat goes through and, and it's not good for your hair. The best thing for that is two, two hours, your hair should be damp, not soaking wet, just a little bit damp. So you go do your cleaning, you go, you, you go do whatever you want to, and then you come back and then you take them off one at a time and very nicely. 
So this is a very good way how to give yourself a lots and lots of volume in the most healthy way. So we have utilized Pyrology Color Phrametic 21. And this is what I use on, on my hair. I do not use the same shampoo, the same uh, conditioner, the same leave-in conditioner. I like to change a little bit. Now, another thing that is also very good when you are ready to take off all the curl is to utilize a dry shampoo and always make sure that the shampoo is a good quality. The desk shampoo was not cheap. It was almost $30, but you're not gonna do, you're not gonna use it every day. You're gonna use it only once in a while. So if I had to choose between a hair spray or dry shampoo to, to, to amplify, then I will go for the dry shampoo because not only that it cleans my hair, it also gives me a little bit bump and it keeps the hair nice in place. Another thing that I really like is the Paul Mitchell. I have said this over and over. Of course, Paul Mitchell are vegan. They are the best, best product because they have so many, so many levels of, uh, of, of spray, of product. This one is the flexible one, and this is the one I really, really enjoy because you can set the spray, but you can you are able to comb the hair. But they have lots of level for you to utilize. So we're gonna take all this, and this is your set for today. So we are going to take off the curl. Smoothly, softly, Yes, now you have a lot, a lot, a lot of volume, more volume. Now, I may have more volume than probably someone who has straight hair or just fine hair. I have natural curly hair and wavy hair, so anything that I would do to my hair, it would amplify a lot more than someone who has straight hair. But the objective of me demonstrating this technique today is to show you that if I can embodify my hair and give me all this vava voom hair curl, without using any heat, so do you. And you only have used four finger. You don't need to even waste space to buy if you don't have any water. You could do that. You will need a clippies. The clippies are not very expensive, so you can use the clippies and you can create all kinds of curl and keep your hair as healthy as you can because you know i'm all about how to enhance your natural beauty and how to keep your natural beauty and now i do have to share something with you my friend this hair 
is 69 years old. So the death phase. So if I'm 69 years old, I have this and this with no Botox, I do have something to teach you. And I want you to preserve your hair as long as you can. You want to start taking good care of your hair. I've done this for many years. This is my profession. I'm a master hair colorist and a master hair designer. So you know what I'm talking about when it comes to hair and the benefit of utilizing low heat. Now, I'm not talking about if you're going to be a model or if you have to present some somewhere or, or have a, a presentation and you have to set your hair with waters or heat or, or current. I'm not saying to not utilizing these tools because as a professional, I have used these tools, so I would be out of work. I could not tell people to go and use their finger, but I'm telling you and I'm showing you and I'm teaching you that there are other ways to do your hair without heat, not every day, okay? Maybe two times a week you wanna use the current arm, but there are so many other ways for you to amplify your hair and, and so many techniques that I am very happy to share with you. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you have learned something and thank you very much for spending some time with me. This is Chantal Ponce. Please do not forget to subscribe do not forget to give a like if you like this kind of video. Let me know what kind of technique did you like and what would you like to see next. And, and this is Chantal. Au revoir. Merci. Et à la très prochaine. Au revoir.